Things I've learned this year, 2017. Tomorrow's the last day of 2017 and we're moving into 2018. I'm doing this because my voice is breaking. Um, I want to kind of do this video as a testimony towards myself and also to you guys of things I've been working through and how I've resolved things and also um, goals for next year. I know people are like, oh, goals for next year, and then they never really achieve them. But I feel when you put out proof of what you wanted to try to achieve, uh, then uh, yeah, it happens more. Uh, the year started off, um, I was quite depressed at the start of the year, had a lot of thoughts in my mind, a lot of problems. Uh, I still do, but not as many. Uh, this year was the first year that I kind of said to myself, do you know what, I, I need to go to the doctors and get referred to have therapy. Everything just kind of got really, it kind of turned into this big scary monster that I kind of carried around with me everywhere. And I was like, it's there, but don't worry about it. Just laugh it off. So I got to do not one, but two kind of semesters of therapy. One was for bereavement and the other was CBT. One was counseling mainly based kind of working on techniques of tragic traumatic PTSD and so forth, post-traumatic stress disorder. So that was the first one because you take valid, you take a test at the start of this kind of program of how high you are with depression, anxiety, social phobias and everything else. So I did all that semester which helped greatly from my improvement and past issues a lot. I'm not saying they're completely healed, they don't just puff away. Um, and then the second semester which ended off in I believe October was for CBT which was cogni Cognitive Behavioural Therapy which I'm still struggling with a lot. That will be on the positive things I need to work for. I got to finally leave a job that I did not want to be in any longer. I hated it. I lost all motivation to be a waitress and serve people and get shouted at. And going through therapy at the time and just having so much stress and working through so many issues, uh, having someone shout at me about sparkling water, not being cold enough, and just putting stress and negativity on me every single shift from different customers and everything, and blah 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 blah. Everyone knows if you're a waitress, you know the you know the the, the whole shabam. And finally, do something very scary, which was go full time freelance, self employed. And um, so I did that. And I was terrified. So now I do that, I, I do voice acting and it's touch wood, it's gone really well. I've got to be in a lot of different projects which I never expected to be in and just kind of, I get to do something I love. Something I truly, I always wanted to do acting but like ages ago and years ago, I was told I had a good voice and I never kind of was like, oh, I, I can do stuff with this. But I did and it's awesome and it's happening. So now I do voice work, I do, loads of stuff content creation and it's just it's just a, i think this is the start of something really awesome and i know that's really cheesy but i think this is going to go somewhere crazy <laughs> crazily good maybe like, weight loss this year not really done that <laughs> i started then i got sad and stopped i just <laughs> engulfed in chocolate cake this year I will be <laughs> doing weight loss because I have goals to do more cosplay, which I got to do this year. I got to do Lara Croft and I got to do Ray from Star Wars, which was really fun, and go to conventions, which I always wanted to go to with Jade and just kind of like stepping out of my social anxiety bounds and just being like, you know, I want to do that or I want to do that, let's do that, but have someone move me to do that. We had a lot of, um, I had a lot of uh, issues with trolls and stuff and just being abused for just doing stuff I love. I wrote no new songs this year, so I should be doing that next year. <laughs> so, um, overall it's been a kind of shifty year, <laughs> and uh, I, I'm going to be doing so many projects next year, and I have goals set, and I have a bullet journal which has been a great kind of, I'm sponsoring myself here for buying something. Uh, a bullet journal is fantastic because it's helped me reschedule my life and I have um, a big book of lines and stuff that I'm going to be doing CBT with along with uh, daily exercise sessions every week. These goals are podcast
podcast is, is scheduled and oh, it's so many exciting things. I'm I'm really getting into a better place. I have really shit days sometimes where it feels like the world's crumbling beneath my feet, but I feel like I've got so much stronger this year and I've got to meet new people. I've got to make new friends that, which have been amazing. I've got to do things I never expected before and I'm, I'm really looking forward to what happens next year. I'm, I'm so excited. It, it's just gonna be crazy. But thank you for watching and uh, goodbye!